is Shadi and today we're going to be looking at a very classical fight in terms of the composition. You have a striker and you have a grappler. So it's going to be a Hapkidoka by the name of Murakami and a Judoka. So this is not a very known fight. However, you can clearly see the differences in styles and see how if a good striker maintains distance, he can clearly dominate any discipline. However, he should always be mindful, he or she always be mindful of the distance. So here you can see a great spin kick. It looked as if it's going to be high, but it goes low and reaps outside of the leg. This is absolutely beautiful. This is one of like those, if I were to put it in grappling terms, it would be like a drop ochi or like these drop o soto otoshi and it's from the outside, but it's done in a striking manner. Absolutely beautiful by the Hapkidoka and totally caught the Judoka off guard. So the fight keeps in, maintains distance and strikes. It's really effective. Of course, once that distance is closed, it's over and you're going to see it very shortly. So very good striking, keeping the Judoka at bay and the Judoka can barely do anything. Just waiting for his moment to get in and try to grapple. But from there, the Hapkidoka until he keeps that distance this is what he's gonna keep doing so here he does like a grabs the leg Ochi and here strikes him with a beautiful Ushiro Goshi it might look like Uranage however when he turns and remains somewhat standing this is not Uranage he did not sacrifice himself this is an Ushiro Goshi or rear hips look the same lift turns but does not uh, throw himself on the ground onto his back or his shoulder so this is Ushirogoshi it's great for self-defense you remain standing you can control uh, the person that's on the ground you can control the intent intensity of how you actually slam them and of course you can run away if need be so this is a great option he stands him back up Harai Makikomi unfortunately the referee is in the way of the throw however you can still see it harai makikomi let's go and wraps around beautifully done this is harai makikomi he goes to the far arm the sleeve arm or you can just overhook if there's no gi and then you sweep the leg and using the hips sweeping both legs like here you see upwards uh on the calf outside of the calf level and there you continue to wrap around, throwing yourself on the ground, finishing it with a beautiful Juji Getami or armbar in today's term or Western terms. Guess the tab, clearly painful. And from there, as you just saw that the moment he closed that distance, it was all over, no matter how good of a striker you are. This is what Henner calls, you know, the green zone where you're too far away and they cannot get you with their strikes or you are too close and their strikes are very limited or barely effective that's also a green zone and this is where you can initiate your grappling and the far green zone is where you can simply run away so this is yuji gatame as you just saw you need to control the head the other leg either on the chest or blocking the ribs uh here uh, i'm guessing he's injured so this is mainly it i just want to show uh, how both either striking or grappling can be incredibly efficient once put in the right position of the fight um, they're very important to have both uh, the more you learn obviously the better you are equipped for any situation whether it is combat sports self-defense um, even just more grappling for example if you do bjj and judo you're gonna have better luck you know competing in judo for example or vice versa so if you have anything else to add please let me know down below also consider supporting me on patreon for exclusive content this was shady and thank you for listening